Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the new year. This is January the 2nd, 2020. Hey, I uh, got some happy birthday shout outs going out to Kathy King, Karen Sander, and Shenandoah French. So, Karen Sander, she's my pokey pal. Wow. Alright, anyway, here we go with a happy birthday shout out song for the three of you. I said, hey, Shenandoah, hey, Karen, hey, Kathy, hey, you heard it's your birthday today, so happy birthday, I'm going to say, yeah, I know you're one more year older today, so happy birthday to you, I say, I said, hey, Kathy, hey, Karen, hey, Shenandoah, hey, you heard it's your birthday today. So happy birthday, I'm going to say, you know, you're oh, one more year older today, so happy birthday to you, I say. You know, that's another trip around the sun that you've made. All right, all right, all right, I hope you all have many, many, many more. All right, well, all righty then. Hey, we're going to give out some uh, Facebook, I mean, some YouTube shout outs today. On account, I got subscribers on YouTube, what, yeah, Alex Hahn. Wanted me to give him a shout out and Gribble Snap. Always, always, always right there. Mun Yun Manyano. There we go. We'll go with that. Manyano. And Lisa Foster. These are my uh YouTube followers. I've got more, I'm sure, but I don't know where they're listed at, so those are the ones that have been uh, contacting me just recently and said, hey, uh, give me a shout out, please. And so I did. Not necessarily all of them said give me a shout out, but they're the ones that written, uh, written a little verse or word or something to me. And well, a lot of them have commented on the Bible with Frisco, which I do dearly appreciate that because, well, hey, the Bible with Frisco is the main show. This is just the side show. You know, God leads you in a different path each and every day of your life. And, well, He's led me down the path of being able to read his word and hopefully just, you know, enlighten those who don't have a chance to read. Those with poor eyesight or whatever, you know, I'll be your voice of the word. All you have to do is open up the page to the Shen Show to the, actually, to the Bible with Briscoe 2021. And we'll get through her one more time this year. We done her last year, and we started over this year. All righty. Well, all righty then. I'm so glad to see you all out here and enjoying this show. I'm fixing to flip on over here and do some weather for us, all right? How about some weather forecast for the St. Charles viewing area? That'd be mainly cloudy skies with snow showers later on tonight. And then we're going to have lows around 26 degrees Fahrenheit. With the winds are going to be west to northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of snow about 40%. And then we're going to move on down here to Sunday, January the 3rd. Well, I sure hope that a lot of y'all get to go out to church on this uh, Sunday because I'm telling you what, that there is a, a bunch of, a bunch of, bunch of the preachers are asking, go ahead, head on out to church, mask or no mask, it doesn't matter. Get out there, get involved with your community, go to church, enjoy yourself. It's, it's, you know, you, here's my thing. How is it that all these people that are being stuffed and stayed in their house and locked down and whatnot are ending up with the virus? Well, it can't be because they were out with the mask on or not masked on or whatever, because they're afraid to leave their houses. So how'd they end up getting a virus? Well, I don't know, but that uh, goes to show that wearing a mask or keeping your social distance isn't the best thing. Well, I mean, it's not the. I'm not saying it's not the best thing. I'm just saying that it it isn't a, the complete and total honest thing when it comes to that. You don't have to have to have to do it. You know what I'm saying? When I go out, and this time of year I don't hardly ever go out, but when I go out, I don't wear masks. Unless it says on the door, cannot purchase products within this door without a mask on your face. Now, then I have a choice to make whether I want to go in that store or not in that store. But I tell you what, when my church welcomes me without a mask and I'm going to it, I'm going to do it. If I can find a church that will welcome me without my mask, 
I'll be right there, front row and center, talking to God and Jesus and everybody else. I'll be praising and worshiping and praying to God, listening to the message and getting the message. Anyway, I'm sorry. That was Sunday, January the 3rd, partly cloudy skies. Highs near 40 degrees Fahrenheit with winds southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies overnight with lows around 27 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be light and variable. And then, my friends, Monday, a January the 4th. Partly cloudy skies, highs near 45 degrees Fahrenheit with winds west-southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies overnight with lows around 26 degrees Fahrenheit, winds west to northwest. And how about Tuesday, January the 5th? Partly cloudy skies, highs near 45 degrees Fahrenheit with winds light and variable southwest at 5 degrees, uh, 5 miles per hour. And then partly cloudy skies overnight, uh, becoming overnight really, really cloudy. Partly in the evening, overnight they'll get heavier. Lows around 32 degrees Fahrenheit with winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Wednesday, January the 6th, cloudy with occasional showers, highs around 45 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 40%. Cloudy with occasional rain showers, lows around 34 degrees Fahrenheit with winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 40%. And then, my friends, for our final day of our five-day forecast for the St. Charles Curian area, Thursday, January the 7th, a mixture of rain and snow showers. Highs around 40 degrees Fahrenheit with winds north to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of precipitation, uh, 40%. Mostly cloudy skies overnight with lows around 30 degrees Fahrenheit and winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that, my friends, does it for your five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. Watched a good movie, one of my favorite movies. Um... Today on tele or on the on the, on the, my VCR, finally got my VCR hooked back up. It's a VHS DVD recorder, so I can take all my VHS tapes if they'll allow me. If they've got the non-coded, I'll take them and I'll record them over on the DVD and find somebody that likes VHS tapes because, well, I they're just bulky. Getting too much stuff in the house. I, it's time for spring cleaning. It's the middle of the winter time. And boy, I tell you, what are you supposed to do? But anyway, one of my favorite songs is called My Cousin Vinny. And, well, it starts off with a song called, well, that goes like this. Well, he was the assistant preacher at the Sunday school teacher in the church that I grew up in. She was a looker from Atlanta. I led the choir and played the piano and had a body that was made for sin. Well, she didn't care that he was married because the torch that she had carried was hotter than the fires of hell. And she planned plans to seduce him if she could she could lose him a notch in the bible bell so she called him up at home and she knew that he'd been alone and said preacher i could use advice i got troubles with a man that i know you'll understand if you could help me i would sure be nice well, they met a few minutes after in the office of the pastor, and she started telling how she felt and what a chance that we're taking when they first started breaking the law of the Bible Belt. Oh, well, hey, this is a singing song. I didn't know. It was made pretty fast, sing it pretty fast. Yeah, I didn't even know. I didn't have no idea. Well, there's a lot of good people who are led astray that believe what the good book said. Well, I'm telling you something, brother. Man, they're dealing with the devil. It ain't. It's tough to keep a level head. And it's hard to imagine how the flames of passion can burn till your soul will melt. And I'll be 
spread like a cancer, but you're going to have to answer to the Lord in the Bible Belt. Well, some say that when we went to Vegas and back home, it didn't take us long to hear the news of what they did. Nobody could believe that he left his wife to grieve and alone and two preschool kids. I don't know how they're doing, but I know what they're screwing up a good thing they once had. They'd better get their heads together or they're going to slap leather on the Bible Belt. Whew. Well, you better get the ready. Their heads together or they're going to slap leather with the Lord on the Bible Belt. Okay. I didn't like it. I should have read it before I started it. Well, I went out, so... Okay, uh, you get out on the highway, headed down a mile away, passing everything inside. I'm a pushing her to the max, getting ready to relax. Cause it's gonna be a Saturday night, and I know a place just over the hill. If you want to have a good time, you will. Way down south. I said, we down south, and just cross the border, just cross the border. I said, we down south, we down south. I don't need no law and order. I don't need no law and order. I want you to get down there, and then you'll know a way down south is the way to go. Or you can have that fast lane. I don't want the stress and the strain. I'm gonna leave it all behind. You get a little lazy afterwards, you're crazy. It ain't nobody going to mind. Don't need a lot of cash or a flashy car. The folks there will take you just the way you are. I said, I went down south, uh, just across the border. I uh, went down south. You don't need no drinking water. I know once you get down there, you'll see nothing like southern hospitality. Oh, yeah, I said it way down south. I just crossed the border. I said it way down south. I don't need no law and order. I want you to get down there, then you'll know. A way down south is the way to go. There you go. Hey, 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 whoa. There you go. Them some two songs off in that show that I looked at. There were some other ones that I, I mean, I could do them for you, Lisa, for the kids, if you want, because I watched another movie today, too. And I ain't doing Frozen, so we'll, you guys can live without that, all right? I will do these. I'll do them for, for the kids, my kids, my grandkids. Uh, Lisa, your kids, the rest of you got kids out there. What are getting ready to fix and to tune into the, um, grandpa, the TV grandpa show. I'm fixing to read for them, but we're going to look up some soundtrack music for the other movie I watched today. Um, song lyrics for soundtrack, Aladdin. There you go. Here we go. Aladdin soundtrack lyrics. Um, start with this one. On come a farm of land. Oh, I come from a land far away place where the caravan camels roam. Oh, where it's flat and immense and the heat is intense. It's a barrack, but hey, it's home. Oh, I come from a land from a faraway place where the caravan camels roam. Where they cut off your ear if you don't like your face. It's a barbaric, but hey, it's home. Oh, when the winds from the east and the sun from the west. 
Ah, and the sand's in the glass to his right. Come on down, stop him. Bye, hope, hop the carpet and fly to another Arabian night. Arabian nights, like Arabian days. More often than not, they're all hotter than hot in a lot of good ways. Arabian nights, like Arabian moon, a fool of his guard could fall full and hard out of that out there on the dunes. Okay. All right. Well, that was one of them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then, oh, uh, whoa, 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 one jump. One jump. Okay, I got to keep oh, one jump ahead of the bread lines. One swing ahead of the sword. I steal only what I can afford. One jump ahead of the lawman. That's all. That's no joke. These guys don't appreciate I'm broke. Rip rap, street rap. Some scoundrel. Take that. Uh, just a little snack, guys. I rip him open, take him back, guys. I can't take a hint. Uh, gotta face the facts. You're my only friend, I boo. <laughs> well, oh, it's that Aladdin hit the bottom. He's become a one man, raising in crime. I'd blame his parents if he ain't got him. I gotta eat to live, gotta steal to eat. Tell you all about it when I got the time. I one jump ahead of the slow pokes. One skin ahead of my doom. Next time I'm gonna use a non diplume. One jump ahead of the hip man. One hit ahead of the flock. I think I'll take a stroll around the block. Stop thief, vandal, outrage, scandal. Oh, let's not be too hasty. Still, I think he's rather tasty. Mm, gotta eat to live, gotta steal to eat. Otherwise, we'd get along wrong. Oh, one jump ahead of the hoof beats. One hop ahead of the hump. Mm, oh, come on, I lost it. Ah. <sighs> One trick ahead of the disaster. They're quick, but I'm much faster. He's got. Here goes better. Throw my hand in and wish me happy landing. All I gotta do is jump. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I can't sing it. I mean, it's a duet, and I can do part of it, but I can't do the other. I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last see your heart decide? I can open your eyes, take you wander by wonder, over sideways and under, on a magic carpet ride. A whole new world, a fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no, no or where to go, or say we're only dreaming. A whole new world, a dazzling place in I've never knew, but when I am away up here, it's crystal clear that now I'm in a whole new world with you. Now I'm in a whole new world with you. <laughs> Unbelievable sights, incredible feelings, soaring, tumbling, freewheeling through an endless dream, diamond sky, a whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes, a hundred thousand things to see. Hold your breath, it gets better. I'm like a shooting star, I've come so far, I can't go back to where I used used to be a whole new world and every turn a surprise with a new horizon to pursue every moment is better i'll be chasing them any 
where there's time to spare let me share this whole new world with you a whole new world a whole new world that's where i'll be that's where i'll be a thrill a chase a wondrous place for you and me a whole new world every turn a surprise uh, with no horizons to pursue every moment gets better okay there you go and that was a uh, Aladdin and Aladdin and Aladdin and Aladdin, 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 Aladdin. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's another one. Oh uh, well, Alibaba has his forty things. Says Kabar, and had a thousand tales. But master, you're in luck, cause you're up my sleeve. You got brand new magic, never fails. You got some power in your corner now, some heavy ammunition in your camp. You got some punch pizzazz, yoo and how? See, all you got to do is rub that lamp, and I'll say, Master Aladdin, sir, what is your pleasure be? Let me take your order, jot it down. You ain't never had a friend like me. No, 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 life is your restaurant, and I'm your maitre d. Come on, whisper what you want. You ain't never had a friend like me. Yes, sir, we are proud, pride ourselves on service. You're the boss, the king, the shah. Say what you wish, and it's your true dish. How about a little more baklava? Have some of column A, try all of column B, and in the mood to you help you, dude. You ain't never had a friend like me. Wah wah wah, no no. Wah ah uh, ah, uh. no no. Wah ah uh, ah, uh. nay nay. Oh, can you find friends do this? Uh, can your friends do that? Can your friends pull this out of their hat? Oh, can your friends go poof? Well, looky here. Can your friends go abracadabra? Let her rip and make the sucker disappear. So don't just sit there slack jawed, bug eyed. I'm here to answer all your midday prayers. You got me bona fide, certified, and you got a genie for a chair de pairs. I got powerful urge to help you out. So what you wish, I really want. Want you to go you got a list that's three miles long you know doubt oh well all you gotta do is rub like so and oh mr aladdin sir have a wish or two or three i'm on the job no big job you ain't never had a ain't never had a ain't never had a friend like me you ain't never had a friend like me you ain't never ever ain't ever ever never had a friend like me yeah you ain't never had a friend like me all right there you go <laughs> All right, it's story time. It's story time. Bring the kids around TV. It's story time for me to read something for them kids to see. And I think we'll probably do just that song that I was reading you. Actually, no, we're going to bedtime stories, freebies. We're going to go to fairy tales again. Again with fairy tales. Because, well, we're not doing the... We're not doing the, um, uh, Christmas stories. I don't know why that came up. Okay, I think we found a little red riding hood. It's a short story, and well, this is the one called Little Red Riding Hood for the kids that never got old. You ready? For kids long, young and old, it's time to sit back and watch TV uh, Grandpa read a story. 
Are you ready, kids? Long ago, there lived a pretty girl who always wore her red cap with a hood. Her red cape with a hood. She was known as Little Red Riding Hood. One day, she was going to visit her grandmother, who stayed deep in the woods. Her mother warned her of talking to strangers. But in the forest lived a big bad wolf, and the wolf saw a red riding hood and wanted to eat her up. He went and spoke to her and found out where she was going. Firstly, he decided to get to eat her grandmother and then wait for her. So he reached grandmother's house and gobbled her up in the hole, gobbled her up the hole. And then he quickly wore her clothing and tucked himself into bed, waiting for the granddaughter. When Red Riding Hood uh, arrived, she was surprised at her grandmother's big arms and ears and big teeth. The wolf laughed a wicked laugh and pounced on her in a flash. Red Riding Hood was very scared and screamed for help. A kind woodcutter was passing by the house, and he saw the big bad wolf trying to catch the little red, the little girl. He immediately hit the wolf on the head with his axe. The woodcutter and Red Riding Hood cut open the wolf's stomach, and out came Grandma. She hugged Red and Red Riding Hood with joy. The big bad wolf couldn't hurt anyone ever again. From then on, the Red Riding Hood remembered never to speak to strangers again. And the moral of this story is never talk to strangers. Sorry, muscle spasm drug me all the way into the TV. Okay, well that concludes... Story time with the TV grandpa. Now we're going to open our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. The daily bread portion of the program is brought to you by The Bible with Briscoe 2020. Yes, The Bible with Briscoe 2020 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in The Bible with Briscoe 2020 will be Genesis 4 through 6 and Matthew 2. So, friends, if you would like to get your daily reading of the Bible, why, I tell you, turn in, tune in to The Bible with Briscoe 2020 on YouTube. Alrighty, uh, let's see here. Uh, when the floods come. Well, I'll tell you what, I read about that today. When the floods come. But here we go. Uh, we're going to be reading Luke 6, 46 through 49. Why do you all call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? As for everyone who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice, I will show you what they are like. They are like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on a rock. When a flood came, the torrents struck that house but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like the man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. And the moment the torrents struck the house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. So there you have it. Build your house on the rock on the solid ground. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay, hey, that concludes the Bible, I mean, the uh, the Daily Bread portion of the program that was brought to you today by The Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today being day two, we'll give you a quick start. You can catch yesterday's and today's on YouTube at The Bible with Briscoe 2021. Alrighty, alrighty then. Hey, that's it for me, folks. That does it for the Shen Show. I have enjoyed being your um, host 
Mr. Shenandoah Briscoe. Uh, let me see. There's one more song I'm forgetting, and that goes, Oh, well, goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here's Ben Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show. And as always, you know, hey, I'll be here. Come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope that you are too. You know, God loves you and so do I. There you go. That's what you know. All right. Have a good one.